Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, all in truth, one from GMS. Blessing to the Akimandir, preaching his word, with whole to sincerity. Blessed 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. Also, David, W. Yafta, Wadah. And Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So today, brothers, uh, you know, I just wanted to, you know, go, you know, go to Prophecy 101. You know, um, you know, on the, on the spirit of, um, you know, coming in on um, the condemning, you know, Babylon, so-called America, and that this place is going to be destroyed, and there's no really no cure for it. You know what I mean? It's already it's, it's already set and done. You know, it, it had its run, but now you know we had a time frame where, um, you know, this this kingdom is pretty much going down the drain, and to set up, you know, the new kingdom um, sent from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh uh, which is Yahweh Shah's kingdom, um, along with the 144,000 and one third entirely, um, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, uh, is going to rule next. But but we're going into the fact that Babylon is going to be destroyed, and there's no coming back from it. You know, once it's done, it's done, and there is no, you know, there is no, you know, um, you know, uh, coming back for Babylon at all. Once Babylon's done and destroyed, you know, it's going to, um, you know, be over and done with. Uh, so, like right here, I want to start at Atlantis 4. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and that cup is slavery. You know, once this, once, once, once their kingdom is destroyed, you know, Esau Edomites are going to, um, you know, go and go into slavery with that, through that cup. Um, what, that's what the cup is. It says, The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. It says the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right. So our 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 uh our punishment, you know, in being in captivity is pretty much over. You know what I mean? We're 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 not gonna go back in captivity again. It says uh he will no more carry thee away into captivity, he will visit thy iniquity of daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. Right. That's what's happening with to this this devil, is because you know, you know, the the, the Edomites are being exposed now by all their lies. You know, there's no more, no more lies on Yahweh Shah is a so-called white, pale, red, red-faced devil. You know, you know, you know the, the 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 angels and all the all the heavenly and the and the, the Lord Yahweh is all all melanated beings in general. You know what I mean? So you know, you know all this baby angels with wings and all that. That's all. That's all lies and robbery, man. You know, all this 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 place. You know that that the, the, the real people, uh, uh, the, the real Jews, are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, and they're not actually those those Amalek, so-called Esau. All this shit lies, man, is being discovered. You see that? And so, the, and 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 that's going to also, you know, be brought down with Babylon because of the dumbass shit, or that iconoclasm, or whatever. At the end of the day, though, once this place go down, it's never come back again. And so, rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? Which is uh, Jeremiah. Um, let me see. Uh, matter of fact, I had a little something. I had a little something going on with that. Let me see, uh, let me see here. Um, right, that's what I wanted. Jeremiah fifty-one. I'm gonna start at. Uh, it says uh, Jeremiah fifty-one. Now Jer Jeremiah fifty-one is hard body. I mean, shoot, I can damn near read the entire Jeremiah, but I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm going to go to start at 8 to make the point. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so, if so, be she may be healed. Right. It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right. So there's no, there's no cure for, for Babylon. It must go and it must be destroyed. You know, for all the abominations that, that are done in the midst of rough. You know, that's why, you know, us Israelites, we, we got a, we got a role to play in this thing where we're going to uh, actually, you know, um, you know, uh, um, prophesy the downfall of the kingdom. Because that's the time we living in and the time and what we're supposed to be doing at the moment. Like Harris says in Revelation uh, 19 and 10. It says, um, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it, do it not, and I am thy fellow servant and of and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. The wor worship Yahweh Shah for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So that's what we in right now, the, the, the prophesying the downfalls of this wicked kingdom Babylon, which you will call America, that is not going to be healed ever again. 
Yeah, because remember it says that deadly wound was healed. Remember in the uh, because you know what uh, Babylon was, uh, Esau came back up in the uh, Renaissance period. That's that deadly wound when it came back. It's locking. So, um, there you go. This place is through. It's never coming back. Matter of fact, um, what is that? I'm gonna go to Second Peter real quick. Um, Second Peter three. My point is that um, I actually wanted to uh, um, sort of five. It says, uh, for this, they willingly are ignorant of that the word of the most high, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished. Right. And what and why did they and why did their first situation uh, get cleansed by the water? Because it was wicked as all hell and there was all kinds of fuckery going on. Right. So then. So then it says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And predominantly, who's the top of the food chain with that? Esau, along with this wicked kingdom, Babylon, for the reason why I need to go down, because the next wave of it is, is, is fire. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day, right? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, right? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise from ICBM missiles, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are in shall be burnt up. Right. You see that now? Now, right here, I'm gonna go to um um. I'm keep on going at eleven. Seeing then, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasten unto the coming of of the day of the most high Yah Bashim Yah Shah wherein the heaven shall be being be on fire shall be dissolved and elements shall melt with fervent heat you see that that's beautiful that, that, that's beautiful right there because what's, what's going on is this place is going to be dissolved and once it's dissolved there's not going to be anything left to be rebuilt you see what I'm saying the Lord said it's going to be all destroyed and it's not going to ever be habited again you see what I'm saying? So there's no hope for this place, man. Not at all. It's, it's not coming back. It's down. That's why it says. That's why it says. Second Ezra six and nine says, um, uh, Esau e Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? Because once Esau goes down, it's a wrap. It's no. It's no. It's no turning back up with that. You know what I mean? Which is a Jeremiah. Um, was that uh Jeremiah 30? Jeremiah 30 is cold word too. Jeremiah 30 and 12. It said, matter of fact, let me read um start at uh 11. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all the nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in a measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. And Babylon fits that description like like crazy. You know what I mean? Because it's it, 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 no it's no coming back from Esau and how they move, man. It's all it's all was built on rape, robbing, and, 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 and pillage, man, and murder. Isaiah thirteen it says the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt thy voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. That's what we're doing right now. We're actually, you know, we shaking the hand, man. We 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 we, we prophesying and we preaching the downfall as we kingdom, you know, and we we condemning this thing to the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. I'm gonna go to the point. It says, um, no, I'm just going. I'm keep on going. The noise of the of a multitude in the mountains. Like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustered the hosts of the, of the battle. Right. They come for a far country from the end of the heaven, even 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 the Lord and the weapons of his nation to destroy the whole land. Right. And what is that? Them what is what is that um what is that coming from a far country, the ICBM missiles? 
That's what, that's what it's sort of talking about. How ye for the day of the Lord, it is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Right. Therefore, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman in travail. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. See? The Lord not playing. He gonna be, oh, this place gonna have to go in a in a very, very bad way. So far that it has to, it has to read this. For the stars of heaven shall for, 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 for the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give light. The sun sh uh, shall be darkened and is, and, and, and is going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Right. Let me see. Hold on. Um, going into... Uh, Right. I'll, let me go to. Let me skip down to thirteen. Uh, Isaiah thirteen and um, and uh, and nineteen is in Babylon the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellently, excellency shall be as when when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. And it's going to be similar, but times fifty thousand. Because you got to remember, um, in Jeremiah, uh, what's that? Fifty. Jeremiah fifty one. I be. I mean, I'll be fourteen. It might be fifty. Um. Yes, yeah, right. It's uh Yeah, these man boy Babylon get get man Babylon get get that work in fifty fifty one. It's a Jeremiah fifty and um I wanted I wanted yeah, so here we go. It says um make it, here here's another another point of mine. It says Jeremiah fifty, I'm sorry, twelve, your mother shall be sore confounded. She she that bear you shall be ashamed. I was talking about Great Britain, um because the because the mother of America is great is, uh, is Great Britain. Behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Right. Because when Babylon get destroyed, you can also read that in Revelation 18. Is when Babylon get destroyed, they're going to be like, damn. Like, it's going to be so crazy to see or to, to witness that everybody going to be like, oh, shit. Like, that, that, that was the craziest destruction we'd ever seen before. And it says... um. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow. Talking about every nation on the planet that has nuclear power is talking about every single one and nobody left out. And it says, it says, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord, Yahabashim Shai, right? Shoot against her round about, she have given her hand. Her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she have done do unto her. You see that? Hey, man, listen. It's never going to be inhabited again, and there's no coming back for Babylon. It's, 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 it's over. And we and we see the prophecies uh, that that uh, pursuing in Matthew 24 and um, starting at what, like 6? Where it's talking about wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes in diverse places. We see all these things happening. So we know that this prophecy of Babylon's destruction is, and that's going to be falling is pretty much on is, is pretty much here. And like my brother Chalawami would say, you know, we you know, we um already, you know what I'm saying, already uh they they already labeling that World War Three has already started, man. So hey man, it's only a matter of time for this stuff to really go down and we're gonna see the destruction of this place, man. Lord willing could be a part of that number. You, you sincere brothers as well, and we get beamed up. And we get to see the fall of our enemies. What's that? Um, that's uh, Sirach twenty-five and seven. It says, it "says There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have a joy of, of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Man, that's what we're looking for, man. The fall of our enemy, so that way we can see this place to be destroyed and never come back again, and the kingdom of heaven be established, man. Lord willing, could be a part of that number. Apparatusai." So again, I brought this out. Lord willing, is edifying to you, brothers. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakwadash, Yahweh. He is to be exist, Bashem in the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, Bashem in the name, and, uh, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth from GMS. Blessings to the Akim Adair preaching his word. Well, heart to sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. House of David, WF, Dawada. 
And shout out to you bros out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shout out to you bros.